What happens when you combine keto pillow pastry with keto pumpkin puree? Well, you get these delightful keto pumpkin pin rolls. Welcome to my channel, I'm Rally, and today we're making these low carb delights inspired by the Bulgarian classic dessert called Tikvenik. Tikvenik is traditionally made with filo pastry, blend of pumpkin sugar, cinnamon, and walnuts. However, as we all know, filo pastry isn't quite keto friendly, so I had to find a suitable keto filo pastry dough recipe, which is crispy and tasty. As well. The keto filo pastry recipe I've chosen today is really easy. It's made straight in the blender. Combine all the ingredients for the dough into the blender and just blend it. That's it. It takes about two to three minutes to blend and it creates nice, soft, smooth dough. No proofing needed, no kneading, it's all done in the blender. Even it's amazing, so easy and quick to do it. After you combine all the ingredients for the dough into two halves, and roll it out as thin as you can, depending on how crispy you like it, it's better if it's as thin as possible. The filling is made in the blender as well, all ingredients in, you can either blitz the walnuts a little bit first to make them a little bit smoother and smaller or you can just put everything in together and blend it it takes one to two minutes by the way feel free to check out the link in the des video description for the detailed recipe as well as a little more background how exactly i decided to create this recipe have you heard of cinnamon press before Cinnamon herb is a healthy fiber that good friendly goodness for our recipe and it helps to create a crispier dough. Keto pumpkin pinwheels assembly is really easy as well. Spread the filling along the length of the dough, roll it up tightly and let the oven work its magic. That's it. You need preheated oven to degrees Celsius or 360 degrees Fahrenheit. And it will take between 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven. Have you heard of the saying, the walnut looks like little brain for a reason? They're the ultimate brain food. That's why I love using them in my recipes. Do you use walnuts often in your recipes or you prefer different nuts? I hope you found this video inspiring and easy to follow. Please let me know what do you think about this recipe as well as any suggestions for future videos. Thank you for watching, see you next time!